Max Verstappen is a two-time world champion. He won 15 races in 2022 and cruised to double his championships with what seemed great ease. The people with wheel knowledge realized it wasn't that easy, especially seeing how the season started. His haters, who definitely don't have a clue about F1, just say it's the car and other things to take shine away. They also look forward to seeing Verstappen getting beaten next season. I have some bad news for them. There are three keys why Verstappen's title is in the bag. So you gotta stay relaxed. Hi, I'm Wimbo and enjoy this video. 1. The overall package. Red Bull has managed to create the best package before the 2022 season. The foundation of a great organization was already there, even if they didn't win anything for 7 years. The finances are there and the philosophy of the late Dietrich Mateschitz to hire the best people and allow them to excel has worked. From having the best team principal to the fastest pit crew to having the best driver on the grid, it's all been worked out. Add the brilliant mind of Adrian Newey and the strategic genius of Hannah Smits and you have an unbeatable package that will allow Verstappen to win his third title. 2. The car. The RB18 struggled at the start of the season because it was up to 20 kilos too heavy. It changed the characteristics of the car so badly it almost didn't suit Verstappen anymore. Red Bull has created a lightweight chassis that they couldn't introduce because of the budget cap. Fugazi, Fugazi, it's a wheezy, it's a woozy. So, with everything they learned in 2022 and the lighter car, I don't see how Verstappen won't hit the ground running. 3. The competition. A lot of hype is made about Mercedes being back in the fight. As I've explained in earlier videos, I'm not so sure about it. Again, I don't see a team that had a wrong concept for a whole season will all of a sudden be ahead in the development race. It would really surprise me. Ferrari looked like it would be a real threat if it wasn't for Ferrari being Ferrari and getting rid of the team principal that brought them from P6 to P2 in the standings. I believe Vasseur is a good team principal at a smaller team, but the chance of him failing at Ferrari, as many did before him, is much greater than him getting the much desired results. I expect the midfield teams to get more podiums and being closer, but I don't see Alpine or McLaren as a threat to Verstappen winning the title. The biggest factor will be Max Verstappen. We all know Verstappen is in a league of his own. Rarely we've seen a driver as skilled and grounded as young Max. There's not one driver out there with the outstanding form that Verstappen has had for four years now. How many races does a normal world champion win in a season? Nine or ten? Those are rookie numbers. You gotta pump those numbers up. Very little unfazes him. And if he gets upset, he gets it out of his system and is back to normal again. Spins and other mishaps are usually fixed during the race. And it seems no amount of pressure can rattle him. Look at everything that's happened last season. He started the season with all the noise from Abu Dhabi 2021 still out there. And he just did his thing. Then there were the flexible plank allegations. It didn't stop him. Then the whole budget cap drama. All this time negativity was directed at him and he just went out and won 15 races. So sorry to spoil the ending of 2023 already. If you have some money to spare, put it on Max Emilian Verstappen. Watch this video next. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Django. Django is my favorite cat in the whole wide world. The only thing he really wants is for you to subscribe. Take care now. Doei doei.